guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use the Christmas Magic Overlays. We no longer offer this as an action because honestly the action takes far more time to run through the whole set than it would be to just add the overlays. So we just did away with the action set and I'm going to simply click and drag my Photoshop over and you can see here that I have my Christmas Magic Overlay folder open on my desktop. And what we're going to do is we're going to simply select all of those layers and drag them over top of our image and release. And then we're going to go ahead and check the check marks, click that each time, and just add all of those layers in. And once all of those layers are loaded, we're going to hold our Shift key, select all the way down to the sparkling layer top layer, right click, rasterize layer, because we're going to be editing on each one of these layers. We're also going to drop down and choose screen mode and that's going to adjust all of those so we can see through them. Now with all of those selected you can move them around anywhere on your screen but we're going to want to work on these one at a time. So I want to get the basic size correct and then from there we're going to work on each one very quickly. Let's go ahead and choose OK and now let's go through and let's start and I want to hide all of my layers except for my bottom one here and my main image and we're going to edit each one of these by themselves. Now you can create a masking layer or you can use a black paintbrush set at a soft round at 100% opacity and you can just simply click over anywhere on your image and remove that. This however is a destructive editing technique but for my overlays, I don't really feel like I need to mask anything off. Now I also want to leave a little bit of the glittery mess over his hair, but I'm going to lower the size down so I can just get a little spots here and there. I don't want to overdo it. I feel like this one's a little too bright, so I'm just going to remove that and remove those two there. Okay, from here what I want to do is I want to click on my beam layer. Now you can put this behind the other layer if you want. At this point it doesn't really make a difference. They're both about the same in strength. But I want to go ahead and bring this down just a little bit in opacity. I want to have my black paintbrush, soft round, 100%, but I want to bring the size up because right now I want to soften the edge of this top line here very quickly. And now I want to go through the bottom and soften the line there. Now I don't need to create a straight line right across the edge of the book because it's okay that a little bit of warm glow is coming over the book. From here we're going to go ahead and ch check mark our third layer and we're going to grab that paintbrush and we're going to simply cover up any areas that are too bright. Let's go ahead and bring that size up. I'm using my left and right bracket key to change my brush size. Okay, We're going to simply click over that. Now if you noticed the beam bottom layer is still a little too strong on the face so let's go back to that but we're going to drop our opacity down to about 38 percent and we're going to brush in over top of the face and the top of the hair and we're just going to reduce that glow just a little bit he already has quite a bit of glow on his face so I just want to remove a little bit of it and that looks a lot better okay let's go up to our small particle dust turn that on and the same let's adjust the size just a little bit I want a lot of glitter coming out of that book we're going to bring it down go ahead and choose OK we're going to grab that black paintbrush again bring that opacity back up to 100% and just simply brush off at least from underneath the book it's okay again if a little bit spills out over the sides but I want the overall amount to be removed from his face and I'm even going to go through and remove just a little bit here and there within the image. Now I want a tiny bit left like right here on the edge of his face is okay because if you remove too much it'll start to look a little unnatural. So let's go ahead and add our beam of light so let's go ahead and click on that one. Now this one's a little bit tr more tricky. I want to line up this bottom line to the center point of the book right about there and from here I want to grab my polyogonal lasso tool 
If the book has straight edges, it makes it a lot easier. So I'm just going to click off of the book and go around and then meet up again and then hit delete. And I'm going to do that again on this side. Now if your lines are not straight edge, you can use your pass tool or your lasso tool. And that looks pretty good there. It may need to be touched up just a little bit, but overall it's okay. And from here, I still think the lines are a little too sharp, so I'm going to grab that eraser brush, or I mean, I'm sorry, the paint brush, use my left bracket tool to bring the size down. I'm going to bring my opacity to about 50%, and I'm very carefully going to go along the edge of that book because I just want to soften it just a little bit. And that is adding the Christmas magic overlay to your image. Now you can take this one step further if you'd like and add even more magic coming out of your book. And to do this I'm going to grab my small particle dust layer and duplicate it. And I'm going to simply bring it over, grab my paintbrush and bring the size up, bring the opacity up, and I'm going to just erase a little bit of the lines because I want to make it kind of curved. And let's grab our sparkling top layer and duplicate that. And we're going to drag that over now to this side right here. I'm going to turn it just a little bit. Check mark, grab our paintbrush, and now let's just paint and give it a little bit of a curve. So now you see it's coming up and around the little boy. If that's too bright for you, just remove that. And you can even do one more and just keep turning it and you can erase off of the boy with that paintbrush in a black if you've added too much so make sure you just go in and erase those layers there we go now if we go back up to that top layer there here this one here we can use our warp tool, so let's go to edit, transform, and warp, and drag those anchor points out, and you can move those in a little bit more. I did not grab the right top layer, let me go back in. There it is, that top layer here. Transform and warp, and now grab that anchor point, and now you can see it's stretching that magic dust across the image. And this is really fun. You can practice with this and play with this until you get the exact look that you want. Let's go ahead and choose OK. You can change the opacity on each one of those layers if you want to blur it out a little bit. And let's go ahead and look at that overall image. I really like that right there. You can also use, we have our Santa Express brush. I don't have that loaded, but you can put little Santa sleighs coming out of the magic. It's just a really cute little add-on that you can do. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and the Christmas Magic Overlay. Thank you.